Hey boys and girls, welcome back to another video. Now for this project, we're gonna be making penny spinners or penny tops. Um, go ahead and keep on watching and I'll show you what you will need for this project and how to do it. Okay, for this project, you will need circle papers. Also, you will need circle cardboard cutouts, a penny, also something to color with, and um, I'm going to be using an X-Acto knife, so adult supervision is required, and also glue, and if you don't, you could go ahead and use tape. Once you have all your materials, let's go ahead and begin. Yeah. Okay, so with our circles, I went and cut out <clears throat> for them to be four inches wide, the diameter. So we're going to go ahead and start coloring our paper circle cutouts. Now I'm just using markers and crayons, but you can use whatever you have on hand. I'm starting on the outside of my circle and I'm doing a line pattern, working my way to the middle. It doesn't have to be perfect. <laughs> you could kind of see that I started kind of going a little off centered, but it's okay. I'm going in the order of the rainbow, Roy G. Biv. And I'm just adding different types of lines to show a variety different types of lines. It makes it a little bit more interesting. I'm going to finish it off with the purple circle. Nice. I'm going to just color in those gaps with a crayon to match the color mm -hmm. that I used. Okay, keep going. Right, moving on to orange. Yellow. And so on. Now I really wanted to do this project because I wanted to try to find something that I had laying around that I could reuse. And I have tons of cardboard. And you may have loose change hanging around and I do have a lot of coins. So I know when I was younger, I loved to spin pennies and quarters on desk, especially at school. And I know it's probably something that you shouldn't do in class because it's distracting. But a really colorful way to make your own spinner top or your own spinners is with using a penny and cardboard. So I'm going to add a different design to this paper. We're going to kind of make it look like a spiral. So go ahead and mark a dot at the middle of your paper and we're going to add curved lines starting from the center, going out to the edges. Nice. Now, if you wanna go ahead and, it kinda looks like a peppermint. You could go ahead and do it red and white, or black and white would look really cool. But I'm gonna go ahead and just do dots and in a rainbow order. Of course, like how I said, you could do it however you want. It's your artwork. This is really giving me like lollipop vibes. Oh. <laughs> Going ahead and do the yellow dots. Moving on to green. Blue. Then violet. Purple. Now for the designs, if you want to add like your name or words, it will work. But once you start spinning it, it's going to make it a little bit blurry and I'll get to demonstrate how it works. So after I finished with markers, I went with the crayon and I kind of wanted it to look gradient going from dark to light. So I added a lot of pressure towards the middle of my circle. And as the curve started to spiral out, I added less pressure onto the paper. And I did that with each color on each wedge. And it looks really cool. Oh, it really looks like a lollipop. Oh, nice. Now we're going to go ahead and attach our circles onto the cardboard. Go ahead with the glue again dot dot not a lot so I'm just going adding dots around the perimeter on the outside and then just some dots on the inside of our circle and I'm holding it down 
counting to 10 to make sure that glue really sticks onto the cardboard. Again, dot, dot, not a lot. Stick it onto the cardboard. Hold it down for a couple seconds. Nice, it ain't going nowhere. So now here is when an adult could come in with an X-Acto knife. We are gonna cut just a small line that is just as wide as your penny. So I put my penny there to kind of help me figure out how long my line is gonna be. And I'm only doing one line, I'm not doing an X. So with my X-Acto knife, I'm making sure the blade is tight. And I'm watching my fingers because I do not want to cut myself. I'm flipping it over so then I can make sure a good clean cut is made. Nice. Let me test it. Uh-oh, it needs to be a little bit more longer. Nice and snug. Yeah, because you don't want it going anywhere. See how the penny just goes halfway above and halfway underneath? That's exactly what you want. Go ahead and repeat to the other spinner, if you're making two. I just want to show you just different designs. Let me see if it fits. Awesome. Now let's go ahead and give it a, a little test. Let's move some stuff out the way. Ooh. Let's try this one. Hey, look at that. It looks so cool. Next one. Oh, that was a better spin. Oh, that came out so good. Look how awesome they look. These came out so good. These penny spinners or penny tops. And originally I wanted this one to be a black and white spiral, but I thought, let me go ahead and add some color. Of course you could do any design that you would like if you would like to add words you can but just remember when you're spinning it it's going to blur out your letters but it came out really good all you need is, is just something to color with cardboard paper scissors and glue and with an adult if you're using an exacto knife for sure but yeah this was a really fun easy project and if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you're not subscribed go ahead and do so already and I will see y'all on the next video. Bye guys.